Hey there, everybody. I'm standing here right now with Legado del Fantasma. Um, guys, oh my God, it's so exciting to see you out here. WrestleMania weekend, this is it. Um, I want to start off by asking you uh, how you guys are feeling heading into the big weekend. Well, we're very excited. Um, this perfect enterprise we have yes, is paying dividends. We're we're happy, we're excited, we're motivated, and uh, our flag has always been the protection of Lucha Libre. Uh, um, that's how we became a, a group. There's things that we want and are aligned, and that's why La Reina here is with us. Yes. To me, personally, is the protection of Lucha Libre, my tradition, heritage and culture my my thc which i'm addicted to <laughs> lucha libre lucha libre is not just sports it's not just entertainment and you know this better than anyone else it's tradition it's culture it's familia it's politics it's geography in mexico it's everywhere everywhere you go every household knows respects and protects lucha libre and some of this these families live by Lucha Libre rules. Might sound crazy, might sound out of the box, but it is how it is. You know, for us Mexicans, for us Latinos, and people that has been in contact with Lucha Libre, they know, you've seen La Reina walk out, gorgeous, beautiful as she is, and what she's got in her hand, La Mascara, the mask. She's the bearer of the very tradition why is Selena with you? Well, just pay close attention. <laughs> Look at her. I agree. She is carrying the legacy in her hands. And we just had a, a mixed tag team. Oh, yeah, we did. Oh, match. yeah, we did. Uh, what, what was three, four weeks ago? Two, two weeks ago. It was lovely. We, we came together as one. And that's how we work. That's how Lucha Libre is. That's why we uphold it. We protect it. And eventually, we're going to be the standard measurement for Lucha Libre. That is the best answer I've ever heard. That is literally the best answer I've ever heard. Perfect, perfect. It sort of like keeps your love of Lucha Libre reignited and just showing the representation of it all. Selena, I do want to ask you because, you know, Santos put you over a whole lot with you guys, you know, being all together now. And I do want to ask you about I didn't that. I not put her over. Just, oh. I'm just stating facts. It's true. You're right, though. You're right. You know, uh, <laughs> It is what it is. <laughs> so, Zelina, I do want to ask you, you know, how did you feel getting brought on, getting added to Legado del Fantasma, and how do you feel that the chemistry has been with you guys and overall the overall presentation as well? It's been an honor, actually. And it's funny because anybody who knows my history knows that I'm very selective with who I align myself with, and I only align myself with stars. And it's, it's one of these things that I like to look and see where's the potential, where's the power, and where's the progression. And it, when you look, obviously, it made total sense to me. And I'm like, who better to bring on board to SmackDown than a group that's going to skyrocket to the top? And not only are we doing that, but now being aligned with somebody as special and, and iconic as Rey Mysterio, we have his back completely. And I mean, me and Rey did kind of have our, you know, tiffs in the beginning. That's no secret. But at the same time, you know, you put your past aside and you realize what's important. And like he said, it's a THC. And that right there is what Dominic needs to, you know, if he's got to get a little whooping, you got to get the chunk every now and then, you know, you got to smack some sense into him. That's okay. But when WrestleMania happens, at least Ray knows we got his back. Awesome. And I also want to make sure to get your thoughts on how you feel of being here and getting to soak in everything that comes with WrestleMania weekend. Well, I'm super excited after six years in in WWE, NXT. This is my first WrestleMania. Uh, we're just here to make sure that the single match between Ray and Don, it will be single match between Ray and Don. But we know Judgment Day, maybe we, they are gonna be there. That's why we're here, to protect Ray back. 
Now, I also want to ask because, you know, we talked a lot about Rey Mysterio and your guys' alliance and all of that. Uh, Rey Mysterio has a huge weekend. He's being inducted into the Hall of Fame. And as you guys know, um, Rey Mysterio just isn't huge just for Latinos. He's huge across the board. His mask is iconic. Everybody knows it. It's gone mainstream. You've seen it everywhere. I do want to ask you guys about your personal, um, you know, feelings regarding seeing uh, Rey Mysterio get this opportunity to be inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame. Santos, we'll start with you. Well, Denise, Lucha Libre is my life. And just like you said, Ray is not just a Lucha Libre legend. He's a legend. But he is a Lucha Libre legend. So we've had our differences in the past. Like it's been a sweet and sour relationship we've had. I've known him for 30 years plus. 30 plus years, yeah, sure. When I got here, uh, all I wanted was what he's got, his legacy. That, that's how I'm built. That's how I was raised. That's how, that's how we are. Like we, we want to go to the top and and grab hold of, of the titles of, of, of the spotlight. And that's what I that's, that, that was my intention coming in. But then when we had that first match, I realized in reality is admiration and respect that I have for him which is why we traded masks. And I know Lucha Libre is a tradition that is, is, is being treated very superficially. A lot of the WWE Universe don't really know the depth of Lucha Libre, how far it goes. And when we share that moment where we exchange masks, it was just me giving him my mask, much like I did with my dad in Mexico uh, last year. It was just a sign, it's, it's the ultimate sign of respect. I unmask for you. This is what I got. I'm giving it to you. Ray being Ray, he gave me his mask. So to me, that's very important. Afterwards, seeing how Judgment Day, you see, we represent Lucha Libre. We can't go wrong with that. That's family. That's tradition. That's what, I, what we just discussed. Judgment Day represents disrespect for everything and anything. It's just being disrespectful for being disrespectful. That won't last. That won't last. We represent something real. And sometimes we might do things considered wrong. Sometimes everyone's going to cheer for us. Sometimes everyone's going to boo us out of buildings and cities. That's fine with us because we represent Lucha Libre. And that's not going to change. Which is why when we saw what was happening with them, and Ray, I had to do something. We had to do something, and we did it. And then Ray being inducted into the Hall of Fame, El Salón de la Fama. Only Mil Mascaras has done it before. He was inducted before. But now Ray, as an active performer, that's never, we've never seen that before. We need to protect that. Do I still want Ray's legacy? Of course. That's why I'm here. We've discussed this, Denise, over the years, not just recently. I want it. We want it. We want the glory, but not like this. I want him to be respected, loved, and have the admiration of everyone. Then, and only then, we'll see. But now, all that matters is that the tradition of Lucha Libre remains untouched by Dom and Judgment Day. And that's why we're here. And any last thoughts? I do want to get your thoughts on Rey Mysterio's Hall of Fame induction as well. I think it's something that's, like you said, it's, it's so different because as an active superstar, also being inducted, that's never happened before. I mean, Rey is also known for doing things that's never happened before, so it, it kind of goes with him. But, you know, for us, it's, it's you know, you see him getting that news, like, wow, I'm going to be inducted, and you're supposed to have that moment. You're supposed to have that and cherish it and remember it for the rest of your life. But now what he's going to remember is it being crashed by his son and Judgment Day and everything that falls in line with that. So we just want to make sure that overall he has a good induction. Everything goes as planned for WrestleMania. And, you know, again, he's going to be remembered for being one of the best ever. And that's how it should be. Awesome. Awesome. Last uh, just very happy uh, for Ray. Very honored to be with him. Uh, what a moment to be Latino. The Latinos, uh, people taking around the world in movies, in the music, in the sports, in boxing, and now 
the first uh, after uh, superstar Latino will be inducted to the Hall of Fame like at the biggest star this year. It's awesome to be with Ray. Just congratulations to Ray. It's an honor for Legado del Fantasma to be with him. And thank you. Awesome. Well, it was great to and catch up with you guys. We just want to make sure that Ray gives them a proper ass whooping. <laughs> yes, like finally. The one he deserves yeah. with the chancla and, and everything. Because everything. we're a group of Latinos. <laughs> a Reina Boricua right here. Mm -hmm. Cruz del Toro, Joaquin Wild, who is Filipino, but his heart is Mexican. And myself. Our mothers are up in arms saying, get this kid an ass whooping. And that's what we're going to do. Yeah. We'll end it there. Thank you, everybody. This was Legado del Fantasma.